I want to share with you some indicators that tend to be common amongst boxing coaches that you probably want to avoid. This one's tricky because there are actually a couple highly regarded trainers who by their own admission have had very little to no actual fight experience. They're the exceptions. On the other hand, you have guys that have had a ton of fights and, and even did very well that didn't turn out to be very good trainers. Very generally speaking, if a guy's had 10 or so fights, he really should have some idea of how to prepare for a fight. This is the guy whose advice consists of uh, pep phrases like, work hard, uh, come on, dig deep, right? But is not actually pointing out any of your problems or how to fix them. Quick story, so I'm at a fight, go to the bathroom or the dressing room, can't remember where. Guy comes in, he's wearing a, a t-shirt, I think it was title boxing or something. And so just to make conversation, I said, oh, you, are you title boxing? And he immediately comes back and says, yeah, I've had four fights now, I've been training guys for two and a half, three months, I know what I'm doing. And that's when it dawned on me, every time in my life, regardless of the subject matter, somebody said to me, I know what I'm doing, it's turned out, they don't know what they're doing. See, if you've ever got the opportunity to spend time with a really good trainer, you'll notice they're not telling you their resume. They don't need to. So you go in the gym and on the surface, the guys are fine. And in fact, some of them are pretty tough. But when you dig a little deeper, you're gonna notice a pattern of losing. And it's a common thread, he hung tough, but didn't get the decision. Well, that's because through experience, these guys have acquired their toughness, but they haven't been taught enough technique to be proficient enough to outscore the opponent. 